Thanks for your interest in our paper, DVI, Depth Guided Radio in Painting for Autonomous Driving from Baidu Research. The motivation of a paper are twofold. In autonomous driving, in order to get large numbers of training data, some works augment real-world pictures with simulated traffic flow to create photorealistic simulation images and renderings. One key component in their pipeline is to remove those moving agents on the road to generate clean background street images. On the other hand, those map service companies, which display street-level panoramic views in their map apps, due to privacy protection, those street view images have to be post processed to blur human faces and vehicle license plates before posted for public access. There is, there is a strong design to totally remove those agents. Following different cues, prior works can be categorized into three major classes, propagation-based in painting, patch-based in painting, and learning-based in painting. Propagation-based method can only repair small holes and scratches, while patch-based methods suffer from perspective changes and the illumination changes. Learning-based method heavily rely on training data and domain adaptation is a big issue. Our method uses depth to guide in painting. It overcomes perspective and illumination changes. Further, we avoid using deep learning approach, meaning we have no GPU requirement. Next, let me introduce our system pipeline. The input to our system is synchronized LiDAR plus camera sequence, and the output is clear street videos. A 3D map is first built by stitching all point clouds together and projected back onto individual frames. With dense depth map and known extrinsic camera parameters, we are able to sample candid color from other frames to fill holes within current frame. Then, a belief propagation-based recognition is applied to make sure pixel colors within the impending region are consistent with each other. It is followed by a color harmonization step, which ensures that colors within impending region are consistent with outside regions. In most cases, we can find multiple candidate frames to fill current impending region. We have two principles to choose the best color candidate. First, Always choose from the frame that is closer to the current frame temporarily. And second, always choose from the frame where the 3D background is closer to the camera. The first requirement ensures our painting approach suffers less from perspective distortion and occlusion. And the second requirement is because camera records more texture details when it's closer to the object so that we can retain more details in the impending region. As shown in the finger, for a pixel in target frame, we map it into a pixel in source frame. But due to errors of depth or camera pose, its true color could be within a small surrounding area. We formulate the color selection as beneath propagation problem where the, in, the energy function E consists of two t terms. D is data term. It makes sure boundary pixels within the impending region are consistent with their neighbor outside the region. So we will have a smooth color transition at the impending boundaries. V is smoothness term. It makes sure two neighboring pixels within impending region and smooth color transition. Up to this point, we simply borrow pic pixels from other frames to fill the impending regions. Pixel color could be quite different on other frames because of auto exposure and white balance. 
we use the technique of Poisson image editing to change pixel colors within a painting region, making them match color tone of current frame. One big advantage of our method is that we are able to use multiple videos for in painting, as in this finger. We have two videos of the same intersection captured at different days. Each of them has their own 3D maps. By registering their 3D maps together, we are able to map pixels in video 1 into video 2 and vice versa. And most of the time, two videos have different color tones. We have to apply color harmonization in the end to make their color uniform. To our best knowledge, all the public datasets for video in painting don't come with steps, which is a must for our algorithm. So we captured our own dataset and compared to previous works on our dataset. We conducted both quantitative and quantitative comparison to other methods. From the figure, it is clear that our method preserves better structure and details. Other methods either fail to recover detailed texture or fail to place the texture in the right place. Table on the right side also demonstrates we have better numerical results. Here is an application study to show the necessity of color harmonization and video fusion. Again, thank you for your interest in our paper. Please come to our interactive session.